After inspecting facilities at the corporation, Commissioner Wonsu observed that most equipment is outdated and cannot effectively meet the demands of modern-day printing and publishing, adding, however, that there are still rays of hope to improve internally generated revenue that will keep the firm running optimally, while acknowledging that newspaper firms are challenged by the advent of social media, which forces them to look for alternative sources of income. The commissioner said though resources are scarce, the corporation would receive desired attention to continuously yield dividends, adding that skilled workers with, with the right attitude to work are necessary for achieving desired results. We went there to tell ourselves the home truth, and it's part of what we are just talking. We looked critically at, uh, at the issue of staffing. To run a newspaper, you need skilled staff with the right attitude. Those that are deficient, we will try to train and continue to retrain. The issue is not so much uh, that of staff strength, it's the quality quality of staff. So all that will be looked into and looked into critically so that we do it with every sense of responsibility. Describing the visit as a hot needle approach to challenges facing the corporation, the managing director of the corporation, Sacho Kanabife, thanked the Soluda administration for efforts to re-energize the information sector of the state. He said the corporation has been riding high in service delivery with available resources and assured that it will continue to help in achieving the lofty ideas of the Soluda administration. What happened today is notable for a, a hot needle approach. The meeting we had directed at three particular areas. One is the need for re-energization of this Anambra newspaper. Two, we also discussed the need to engage the staff in a reorientation that will fit the new dire direction. There's a time when you will be going, no matter how, where, how good you are, you will need to recalibrate and that is the recalibration the commissioner came for. The commissioner was joined at the visit by the permanent secretary of the ministry, Barrister Samuel Ike, acting director of information, Mr. Anthony Mweke, among others, and had a brief meeting with the management staff of the corporation. In Oka, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News.